For the first time, the One Show will be travelling beyond the shallow seas that surround our islands into waters which descend to depths of thousands of metres because it's only here that true giants can be found, whales. And I'm on a mission to find them. This is what will take me there, the Celtic Explorer, a state-of-the-art research vessel operated by the Marine Institute of Ireland. More than 65 metres long, armed with the very latest scientific instruments, crewed by world-renowned scientists and oceanographers, and my home for the next three weeks. The scientists are conducting surveys to find out exactly how fish stocks are faring in and around British and Irish waters. Crucially for me, we'll be going through the most wildlife abundant areas around Britain and Ireland. Before we embark, Michael O'Malley, the chief scientist, shows me the route we'll be taking. From, from now until the next couple of weeks, we're going to be concentrating on this area up here to the northwest of Ireland and to the west coast of Scotland, west of the Hebrides, around St Kilda and down through the Minch. We're continuously monitoring with the acoustics fish directly under the boat. It looks like we're covering a lot of miles there. We are indeed, yeah. It's uh, over 5,000 nautical miles in total. It's, uh, it's quite an undertaking. And where all these contours are really tight, I'm presuming that's the edge of the continental shelf and then the water just drops away. From this point here, you're talking 200 metres. A few miles away, it's, it's, it's thousands of metres deep. So it's, a, it's, it's like a cliff edge. It's really quite impressive. And that's a really good area for big exactly. whales. That's it. We aren't taking any chances. The crew have brought the latest high-speed cameras to ensure we don't miss any of the action. High-tech remote control drones to film from the air and underwater camera systems to send under the surface. After a compulsory safety drill, the ship begins to pull away. This leg of the expedition will take 22 days, making this by far the longest sea voyage I have ever undertaken. And the action arrives sooner rather than later. After only a few hours underway, our first marine mammal arrives. A huge pod of common dolphins surrounds the ship. Really playful animals, quite extrovert, love their own company. Oh, clear of the water! <laughs> Relying on cooperative hunting techniques to catch their prey, they've been recorded making dives up to 200 metres deep and staying underwater for up to eight minutes on a single breath. These highly social animals have been known to school in their thousands. They're quite a small dolphin, probably only marginally bigger than me, but great to watch. So we can see that lovely pale panel right along their side. They are incredibly fast swimmers, with a top speed of more than 35 miles an hour. Worldwide, the species numbers in the millions. So early in the trip, that is such a positive sign. We're seeing lots of dolphins, and hopefully, we'll see lots of whales too.